What's up guys, The Devil's Talon here. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Aim Assist in its current state. For those of you that are new to competitive Fortnite or just are a casual player, Aim Assist has been a hot button topic in competitive Fortnite for pretty much the last three to four months. I even made a video about uh, Aim Assist and addressing uh, an objective look at the impact Aim Assist had on competitive Fortnite. I'm going to drop the link to that video in the description down below. Uh, also, if you enjoy my content and enjoy my videos, uh, please drop a like and subscribe. Uh, but, so let's get into it. As you can see, I have screenshotted some, some tweets of professional Fortnite players and kind of showing the divide and split on aim assist. Scoped, probably the best controller player in the world right now, even thinks that aim assist should be nerfed stating nerf linear hip fire aim assist buff linear long range now there's obviously going to be people that want aim assist completely removed i think that's ridiculous but we're going to take a look at tweets from liquid stretch who has probably taken over bizzle's role as basically controller player enemy number one saying controller players are all aimbot no brain he literally tweeted out yesterday a tweet simply saying fuck controller players so you could see his opinion on controller players but then now we're going to take a look at a tweet from liquid scented he goes too many comp players complaining about the game and aim assist for them not doing well and it's only their own fault which i think is a much more mature approach of being a pro and getting better and as you can see reply from that tweet from one of the best west players in the world arkram people just make the excuse that the game sucks instead of blaming themselves and fixing their mistake which is more uh, mature approach and sure um, so you can see that there's a divide and that some people think it's okay some people think that it's not that big a deal and just adapt but again these are all just opinions right and I'm here to take a look at an objective an approach what do the numbers tell me what what is going on how are controller players doing in competitive Fortnite currently so let's go take a look at those statistics so if you guys are wondering where I get my data from it's this website right here it's a uh, wiki east fortnite esports uh and they tabulate and they update this 24 hours according to them uh, i'm going to drop the link to the website in the description if you're interested and just a caveat here i tabulated this data two days ago so that means that there's been two daily uh duo cups and a cash cup and so the rankings might change if you go check it now but at the time that i did this which was again like i said two days ago these were the orders uh, the order of the people I, I doubt it's changed that much with just daily cups in uh a one cash cup uh because again they base their stuff on tiers so fncs has priority and land obviously has the greatest priority in terms of how many points and power rankings that you get so again uh that's how and where i got my data from in this video and the last video that i made all right let's get into the actual numbers so how did i tabulate my data I took the 50 best overall players in the three best regions, so NA East, NA West, and EU, and then I counted the number of controller players and I compared them to the number of mouse and keyboard players because if this aim assist mechanic is, is so overpowered, we should be seeing just a lot of controller presence in these rankings. And so we're going to look at, and we're just going to go through the individual entries. So coming in at number nine, we have CRR again. He was one of the players that was on the power rankings list for last year. And these power rankings pretty much encompass pretty much this entire uh, season. And so DreamHack and FNCS and all that stuff is in there for this season. So these are, these are m the most recent uh, possible data on these guys. Uh, coming in at 10 is Let's She. Uh, he's ha have been having a really, really good season. 22 Wolfies. He was also on the last one. Uh, hard find a former member of BH and Serenity Gaming. I think Serenity folded. I'm not exactly certain, so don't quote me on that. Uh, and then we get into some control players I did not have knowledge of, which is also kind of a cool thing about doing these type of videos. You learn about a greater number of players. Oh, also before I forget. So why is this person in yellow? Because I literally searched the web for 30 minutes trying to find this man. No idea his input, no idea his socials. And it's because he has a general name like Clement, and it's just a hard name to find in terms of Fortnite. You type in Clement and a million people come up. I typed Clement FN, I looked on Twitter. 
couldn't find anything. So I apologize for that discrepancy. But I, all I did was basically went to the next person that was on the power rankings list and looked. So I apologize. If anyone does know Clement's input, please drop it down and I can make that correction if necessary. Uh, coming in at 35 with Amplify, player did not know uh, coming or before this video. Number 44, Castry. I did hear, I have heard of Castry before. And 49, Kura, a player I had, again, no knowledge of before. And this is EU, so that's understandable, right? So that, that leaves a total of seven controller players and 43 mouse and keyboards. So not, not a gigantic presence for controller players uh, on this server, but let's, let's just uh, check it out. And so here, here's the chart again. 86% in EU are um, mouse and keyboard and 14% our controller players on EU. So now let's look at uh, NA East. Okay, so as you can see, we, ha we have a lot more already going and tabulating this. So coming to number three, already been mentioned in this video, Scope, who's probably had the best season of a controller player, e either him or the person right below him, Av, you can argue, or AV. Uh, so they they've been having just insane seasons. Uh, you got the Cash Cup God, the Daily Duo, or Cash Cup God Knight, uh, coming in there, and he's also been placing FNCS, that's why he's up there, but uh, another control player on this list. Number 10, coming in Furious. Player did not know uh, coming into this, so shout out to him. Number 13, one of the original best control players in the world, Innocence. He's been popping off in uh, duo FNCS with Agers. Uh, he's been a, a big force in the uh, competitive community for a long time. Number 18, Bully. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't know how... Uh, his, his situation is a little bit interesting. He did post that he was quitting Fortnite and not just because of the state of the game, uh, just basically because he's basically getting bullied for, you know, pun's sake, for basically being a controller player and getting tons tons of hate, which, which is completely unfortunate because he's an extremely talented player, but uh, hopefully he continues to compete. 27, we have last season's God Unknown. Uh, got signed to NRG and he's not having as big a season this season as he did last season but he's he's popping off he's doing well number 31 one of my absolute actually favorite controller players i i don't know why uh i like him so much but i, I believe he's just truly underrated and this is uh perplexy he's a member of bh comp which they've been kind of getting more into the comp he's been there for a lot longer than most of these comp players uh have been in bh but shout out to him and then 32 mikey again so if, if they're highlighting yellow i can't find this guy it, and it's because their names are very generic and very like hard to find. And I type in Mikey FN and there's a guy named Mikey FN that literally just posts like trolling videos. So I'm assuming that's not him. And then I have no idea of his like video. So again, I apologize. If you do know Mikey's input, please drop it down below in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Number 35, Coazzo. Um, I don't know how I'm saying that. I think that's how you'd say it, no idea. But uh, he made it there. And then Spear OK, no idea who that was before this video. So nice to get to know another controller scrimmer. Uh, look at 37 Assault, one of the OG best players. Uh, he's probably in my top five favorite. I've, I've watched Assault from basically the very beginning of back when he had less than 500 followers on Twitter. So I've always been a huge fan of Assault Coop. Uh, basically, Coop making it in the top, top 50. Um, Oops, Rex, very interesting name, uh, making an appearance on this list. And Illis, uh, did not know who that was, but also making an appearance on this li list. So as you can see, um, a lot more than EU. We have 14 controller players in this region and 36 mouse and keyboards in this region. So let's look at the chart. 28% controller players, 72% uh, mouse and keyboard players. A little bit, a little bit about, you know, a little over a quarter of the controller players in this top 50. So it's a, definitely a significant difference from the EU. All right, now let's take a look at the West region, which to be honest, was an absolute mess trying to find some of these people. There's a lot of controller players on this server and I'm surprised there wasn't even more. I've been watching a lot of FNCS and it seems like there's literally tons and tons of controller players, but let's go ahead and look through the list. Uh, Wavy Jacob, obviously probably the best uh, known or the most known controller player from uh, Team Parallel, uh, dominating, having insane cash cups, insane duo FNCS, 
uh, performance. And again, now we have number three at Epic Whale. And I'm going to consider Epic Whale a controller player because what is Epic Whale has done is switch his input. He's placed an FNCS multiple times on controller and he's won a cash cup on controller. And I even mentioned in the last video, I said it'll be interesting to see if we have any of these guys that are, I guess, hybrid. He wasn't even a hybrid at the time. I believe I mentioned Chronic and Yayosi. And I said these guys would be um, it would be interesting to see if they could go from mouse and keyboard predominance to competing on controller. And he's actually done that and won a cash cup, kind of reverse of what Unknown Army did. And so I'm definitely counting him as a controller player. If you're winning cash cups on controller, you're a controller player in my opinion. So he's a little bit of an enigma, but I'm going to definitely give him the controller nod because of his placements. Number five, we're coming in as uh, Thomas. And Thomas is Wavy Jacobs duo, so just absolute controller animal. Uh, he plays really well at DreamHack. Uh, really, really underrated. He's underrated because I just can't believe he has the sign. And then we have uh, coming in number 10, Reet. Uh, for extra gaming. So extra gaming on West is literally, they're just dominating West. They, I believe they have six or seven of these guys on their team that are in this top 50 on West. And most of them are controller players. So that's really, uh, really impressive stuff from extra gaming. Coming in at number 18, we have Power. Did not know who it is. Okay, and then so at 27, again, another, I found this guy's Twitter, it's Jay Roses. And I went to his Twitter. He has no link to YouTube. He has no link to Twitch. He has no actual media postings he only posts his playments or his playments his placements and uh so i have no idea his input so i do apologize if anyone knows uh his input please let me know 29 we come in at uh coming in at 29 we have triggy uh 33 slays did not know who that was Vane did not know who that was 38 kytrex didn't know who that was uh 40 again we have another guy uh, he was a member of a team and I went to his Twitter, couldn't again, the same issues, can't, couldn't tell his input. I believe he made a Twitter and I think he has t three tweets on it. And it is him because I just think because he was retweeting other top West players stuff, but he personally has three tweets. So again, I have no idea his input. Same as before, if you know his input, please let me know. 41, um, a former me member of Parallel, who I believe is now an extra as well. Uh, 43, we have the guys Zinks and 44, Zesty. And then 49, like, again, another real generic name, hard to feel like Beast. Like, you know how many probably YouTube titles there are that say, like, I'm the Beast at Fortnite or type in Beast FN. So if, again, anyone knows his input, let me know. And so I had to put in three other people. So uh, 51, we have a guy named Extinct. I found his Twitter and found his stuff. And his YouTube has said that he switched to controller, but I don't know when. I watched some of his videos and so over the last week and a half, I believe, or he switched just this last week and every other video previous to that was master keyboard. So I'm not counting him as a controller player because I feel like there's only been one possibility, one week of FNCS and he hasn't won a cash cup. So, and he's just, and he's out of the, he's technically out of the top 50. So, uh, he, he's a little bit of an interesting case. And then again, uh, we have Regulator coming in. I believe he's for extra as well. And he's essentially in the top 50 just because of the fact that I can't find these guys' input. So again, I do apologize. I know that doesn't make the data as true as it possibly could be. Um, but I, I definitely did try my absolute best to make this as objective as possible. And as you can see, 14, I don't know why that chart's appearing. I tried deleting it, not working, but 14 controller players, 36 mouse and key, just like any, any East. And again, same percentage, 28% controller, 72% mouse and keyboard. All right, let's look at the total for the three regions. If you can do quick mass, seven plus 14 plus 14 is 35. And so that comes out to, of the top 150 players on the three biggest regions, you have 23% going for better controller players and around 76% that are mouse and key. So what I decided to do is, well, let's take a look at the way things are now with controller players and let's compare it to how they were before three months ago when people were still complaining about aim assist and still saying that aim assist was overpowered. So we're gonna look at the three individual regions in the total. All right, so we're, we're looking here. Uh, here's the data for this. So back then there was only two controller players that were in the top 50 and that was, I believe, CRR and Wolfies. And then now 
there's a little bit more, five more controller players, and that goes up to about 14%. So in literally, as the date I'm making about, so it's literally one day off in three months, uh, we're looking at this. Oh, sorry, four months, sorry, four months. I can't, I can't do math apparently. Uploaded it in December and now it's, this is uh, April. 10% overall increase and a total of five more, right? So pretty, pretty a decently significant increase. Now look at this jump. This jump is humongous, right? Back then, again, only two controller players were present on NA East. And I believe that was Assault and Unknown, if I remember correctly. And now we have 14. 14. So a significant increase. We literally went from 4% to 28%. So literally a 24% increase of controller players on this region on one of the hard, probably the second hardest for mo most hard region in the entire world. So I don't know, definitely some interesting data here, right? NA West, let's look at NA West. Now NA West had a lot of controllers, players, they had by far the most back then. So they had nine, a significant amount, but they still got, had more, still have more of this round. So 14 control players now. So we went from 18% to 28%. And now let's look at the total. All right, so back then there was only 13 controller players in the top 150, and now there's 35. So that goes from about 8% of controller players to 23% of controller players. That's a significant jump in four months time. And do I, this data is, is definitely showing some things that were definitely not present four months ago. And Basically, I, what I'm going to say is my, my overall conclusion, looking at all the data and all the numbers, uh, this explosion, kind of an explosion of controller presence. I, I do believe aim assist is having an impact that was, wasn't, uh, sorry, can't talk. <laughs> aim assist is definitely having an impact that wasn't present four months ago. And based on what the numbers are telling me, I think something does need to be done. And personally, I believe what Scope said is 100% accurate. You need to buff the mid to long range linear aim assist, make it a little more like Legacy, which by the way, is no longer in the game because so it's even been dealt with a little bit, but it doesn't seem to have made that much of an impact. And I think you do need to just, the, the linear aim assist is just so strong. It, it it does probably need a nerf. It's insanely strong. It's it pretty much follows the player everywhere. It kind of eliminates any type of tracking. So my overall conclusion is aim assist overpowered. Title of the video. Wouldn't say it's overpowered. Is it something that needs to be dealt with? Yes. I think this data. I don't believe that all of a sudden that we're seeing nearly triple controller presence the last four months. Like, I don't believe the last four months that all of a sudden there's just all these undiscovered controller players just dominating. I don't believe, I say undiscovered. Some, maybe there's just been controller players. There's obviously controller players that have been, that are known in the competitive scene that are just playing better. But is it because of their gameplay or their aim assist? And when something, when you got these guys on West where I'm literally sweating to struggle to find out who they are, it kind of, makes me wonder makes me think so as i said i don't believe it is overpowered but i do believe that it is overly strong because it's making you can see the impact here in the data but thank you guys for watching i hope you did enjoy peace